Good morning. Today we are going to start our next unit, which is disability and life insurance. Today we're going to focus on disability insurance, what it is. You're going to watch a video. We're going to do an example of a real scenario where an individual needed disability insurance. And then your homework today, you're going to do a scenario again um, where you go through a different type of disability insurance. So there's two types. There is short-term disability insurance and there is a long-term. As a consumer, you are given the opportunity to get disability insurance. That does not mean you have to purchase disability insurance. Remember the two types in Kansas insurance that we have to have is health insurance, which is a national mandate, and auto insurance. Okay, so disability insurance is an optional insur insurance for consumers, um, but it is designed to provide you a percentage of your income if you are ill or unable to work for a certain amount of time. So let's go ahead and open up your notes in Canvas. So disability insurance notes, All right, so first things first is what kind of income is available to us as a consumer if we are ill or unable to work? Well, the first one is disability insurance. Another one would be social security, which is only going to last for one year. We could also, if we were injured at our place of employment and were unable to work, we for, could file for something called workers' compensation. That's going to, um, oops, that is going to pay for sometimes medical bills, sometimes paid leave, um, sometimes things like physical therapy or medications. Um, we could hopefully rely on maybe family and friends if we were in a pinch. We could fall back on our savings account. Hopefully we have up to six months saved up there for emergency savings. Or if we needed to, we can maybe cash in some investments. Um, at work, sometimes we have sick leave at your place of employment, also called PTO or paid time off. We could rely on crowdsourcing. So like GoFundMes, um, donations, benefit turn, you know, benefit things, or we could even take out a loan if we needed to. Those are in no specific order of what we should do if we needed a source of income, but those are just options out there for us as consumers. So this next blank is the definition of disability insurance, which is a plan to provide regular income. It's not going to be your full paycheck, but it will be percentage during a specific time frame. If we are injured, unable to work, we are ill, something happened. It is optional. This is an optional insurance for consumers. It's going to provide anywhere from 40 to 60% of a normal gross income. Gross income meaning before taxes are taken out. There are two types. Short term is going to start paying quickly. So that waiting period is really short. It can last up to two years, but most commonly it's going to cover three to six months. Long term could last up to retirement or returning back to work. So difference here, short term, it's gonna kick in right away. It's not going to last for forever. The most common is three to six months, but it can go all the way to two years. Long-term disability insurance can last all the way up until you are able to retire or whenever you're able to go back to work. You as a consumer may have short-term or long-term 
or you can carry both types of disability insurance. It could be provided by your employer or you can purchase from an insurance agent on your own. All right, some specific terms that go along with disability insurance is the waiting period. That's just the time period that we are waiting before those benefits are going to kick in. So basically before we start getting those disability payments. The trick here is the shorter the waiting period, normally the more expensive the premium is. So we're paying more every month in order to have a shorter waiting period, meaning those benefits kick in right away. If it's longer, our premium is probably going to be a little less expensive. The amount of time that your policy will pay benefits is the duration of benefits. So how long those benefits are lasting. So some questions you should ask yourself are, when would a consumer want to purchase disability insurance? At what point in their life? And why? What is their, what is their reasoning for purchasing this type of insurance that is available to consumers? Okay, the other thing I would like you to do is watch these two videos. This one is just talking through disability insurance, going through the same thing we just did. And then planning for the unexpected is an actual example of some of a family that used disability insurance to help them financially in a time where they were unable to work. So watch those two videos. Then in Canvas, I would like you to open up this Johnny's Lucky Break PDF. Download it into Notability and you can try to work through it as a, as a class. If you would like to Zoom me, that would be great also. And I can walk you through this example of Johnny using disability insurance and what would happen if he didn't use disability insurance, how much it would cost him. So go ahead and try your hand at that, or you can Zoom me. Tomorrow on your virtual day, you're gonna do another disability insurance um, scenario but it is called taking care of business. You won't turn this in. We're actually gonna go over it together at the very beginning of the next class period to see if you guys understood disability insurance. And I will be back next class period. All right, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, if you wanna Zoom me for that assignment, that's fine too. And you can email me if you need help. Thank you.